Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Ecom Masterclass and in this video I'll be going over how you can defer off-screen images. So what this is, is it's usually a suggestion from Google PageSpeed telling you to lazy load certain images. If you don't know what lazy loading is, it's essentially where your store is only going to load images that are on screen for the user. And when they start scrolling down on the page, it's going to load those images after. This will help speed up load times here as you're not going to load everything at once as it's not necessary as a user can't see everything. So I'll be showing you step by step here how you can get the package, add it to your code, and then add it to the images you want to ensure that they are lazily loaded. It's a bit of a technical setup here, so follow along with me here and make sure you stay until the end of the video. Before I dive into it, I wanna mention our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify App Store. It's gonna allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get real-time calculations. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to discover how profitable your store truly is. You're gonna get a variety of different profit metrics as well as detailed analytics so you can truly understand your store's performance. There's a link in the description to access a 15-day free trial. So make sure you check that out below. I'm also gonna show a quick promo video. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. Now let's dive into the content. So the way we're going to load these lazy images here is using a package called Lazy Sizes, which we can import using JavaScript into our Shopify site. Now that may sound a little intimidating if you haven't programmed before, but I'll walk through everything step by step here. So let's start things off from your Shopify homepage. So what you want to do is you want to navigate to the left-hand sidebar menu, click on Online Store. This is going to open up your themes here, which we can then access the theme code. Something important to note is that before you make any changes, I would always recommend duplicating your current theme here. This is going to duplicate all the code for the current theme. This way, if you make any errors along the way, it's going to be easy to revert back to an older one. So you see these three dots here, you're going to click that and hit duplicate, renaming it. I would typically rename it with the current date before any changes were made. So next, in terms of this lazy size package here, we can see it's quite popular here. They were served 182 million requests. It looks like a thousand gigabytes of bandwidth. It looks like 64 million downloads as well. This is an extremely popular tool here that's used by a ton of different websites. I'll leave a link to the description in this as well so you can access this link. So in terms of the overall steps, what we're gonna do is we're first gonna import this JavaScript code here, and then add it to each image tag that we want to be lazily loaded. Let's start with the first step here. What I'm gonna do is hit this copy button. So I'm gonna copy this URL, and just for good measure, I'll just copy it there. And then you wanna head over to your Shopify theme. Now you should have already duplicated your theme here. What you wanna do is head into these three dots, then go to edit code. This will open up the code editor for your Shopify theme. Overall, it's a little intimidating at first, so we're just gonna navigate to a few files here. First, you wanna head to theme.liquid. You can also search for it in the left, and it should be under layout. What we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll to the bottom of this page here, and we're gonna add this script. So what you can look for is this closing body tag. So you see the slash body here at the bottom, and we'll put it right above. So I'm gonna create some space here, making it easier to paste. I'm gonna copy and paste that as well. So I'm just a few simple steps there to paste that in. What I'll do is add some comments as well to make it easier to find in the future as I've done for this spin the wheel app above. So these comments are gonna be in this format, left arrow, exclamation point, dash, dash. Then the closing as well will have a dash, dash, right arrow. I'll change the comment to start lazy loading script. Below that, I'll put the same thing, but instead of start, I'll put end. This will just make things easier. If I ever decide to remove this in the future, I can see where this code is. So once that's done, you wanna hit save in the top right here. So now that this script has now been added to your Shopify store. If we head over to the instructions again, what you're basically going to do is you're going to add this class each image. And that class is just going to be class is equal to quotation lazy load quotation. You can see the same example here. We're adding it to the image tag and class lazy load. So what I'll do is I'll copy this class equals quotation lazy load quotation. Just copy this here so I can then paste it into the relevant images. So if I go back to the code editor here and I go to the search bar, this will depend on which sections you want to add this lazy loading code to. So it's going to depend on your homepage makeup. Do you have just a featured collection? Do you have featured blog posts? If hero images, it's going to depend there on what you want lazily loaded. So you will have to take a look at your homepage and then find the relevant sections here. So where you're going to find these sections is not under templates, under the sections folder. And you can see different ones such as contact form, email signup, featured product, image banner, 
featured collection, and so on. What I'll be focusing in on is featured collection. What you can also do is search for it in the top left. You can see here, feature, and then featured collection dot liquid. Unfortunately, you have to select each image tag that you're looking for to go and add this lazily loading class. What I'll do is I'll press control find on Windows or command find on Mac, and I'll just search for the word image. What we need to do is find each section that's loading an image and then go add it to the image tag within that particular component. So once I search image here, I'll go over to next. I can see here that this card product is rendering an image. So what I will then do is copy and paste card product, paste it here, and then I can go to the snippet for card product. Now again, I'm going to have to do another image search here. This time I'll be searching left arrow and then IMG. If I scroll down to what it found here, we can see the image class. Here I can then add a extra class here. I can see there is one under class equal to motion reduce. As you can see here, there is some lazy loading coding. So depending on your theme, it might automatically be included already. I'll head back here to get the class lazy load, copy that. I'll head over again to this page here. And I can see it already has a class tag. So I wanna add on to that rather than replacing it, which actually makes the previous copy and paste irrelevant, but I'll just add lazy load here rather than copy and pasting the entire thing and replacing that existing class. The class name is lazy load. I can see here I have lazy load as well. And so adding this class here will make sure it's automatically lazy loaded using our existing JavaScript package that we first copy and pasted into our Shopify code here. So I'm just gonna hit save and that will ensure this is gonna be lazily loaded using our JavaScript package we imported. And so you wanna repeat this for each section on your homepage that isn't the first initial rendered section. If you're a little confused what I mean by that, if I go and load my store here, it would generally mean the top section that's loaded for the user. If I go into customize as well. You can see what it looks on mobile or desktop. If you have a really big homepage, this will be more relevant. There isn't a lot of content on this one. So just about everything will be loading above the fold or within the screen. So this concludes the video on how to defer your off-screen images. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below as that would really help the channel out. If you have any questions, leave a comment as well. Lastly, I want to mention Profit Calc one more time. The one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify App Store. There's a link in the description to access a 15-day free trial. So make sure you check that out below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next one.